If our care for people's spiritual nature and their spiritual character is not also met with our concern for their very real and tangible needs, what are we doing? It's not good enough. We have so much common ground. Because Jesus, I believe, has changed us and transformed us and helped us to see the people who need help. And if the church is not able to speak about things where people's lives are on the line and where people matter, what are we doing? I don't know what that looks like for us as a community. Because I know in America, this has become a very partisan sort of issue where you've got one side of the aisle that wants to do good this way. You've got another side of the aisle that wants to do good this way. But what I want to at least challenge us with is to have conversations across the aisle and to do good together here and now in this town. Good that we can see and good that can be of benefit to the people in our lives and in our communities. Do not allow the church and politics to be so scary to you that we do nothing together because that is not good enough and that is not what Jesus is asking us to do. I'm convinced that it starts with conversations with you where you have issues and you talk them out and you come up with strategies to do things, real things, tangible things in this town for the good so that Jesus' name can be proclaimed in this community, maybe in a way that it hasn't been. We believe that Jesus has not left us so we should not leave our brothers and sisters. What we will hear underneath of them is the, the agent through which we are able to do them, which is Jesus and his spirit that's completely transforming us from the inside out, that we would be completely different people and that we would begin to see needs and we would meet them, not because we have to or we feel guilt and obligation to do that, because Jesus has so transformed us and we understand the love that he has for us. And we can then go and live that out. God help us with that task. Do not grow weary, TRP. Do not grow weary in the work. This, I believe, is what we are called to do. To love God and to love others. And to do it for the sake of Jesus.